Hello friends, welcome to Concept of Science. Let me introduce myself first. I am a guy who took science in 11th-12th. I took math, physics, chemistry and biology. Studied both. Managed to crack engineering entrance examination. In the engineering, I learned uh, various disciplines of sciences in my first year. These included chemical science, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, engineering drawing and four papers of advanced mathematics. I know science a bit, you can say. I think that I can help the aspirants, UPSC aspirants who are preparing for prelims. The syllabus is covered in 10th class and I think I can help you in covering that 10th class syllabus. We will use a book, McGraw-Hill Manual. This is the most authentic and crisp and short book available. So if you have that, very good. Otherwise, try to get that from somewhere. We will prepare gradually physics, chemistry and biology. So uh, without wasting any time, let us start with physics. The first point that is mentioned in physics is physical quantities. What are physical quantities? Physical quantities are time, force, temperature, density, etc. These are the physical quantities which are present in nature. Now, there are two types of physical quantities. First are derived physical quantities, then there, is, there are fundamental physical quantities. What are fundamental physical quantities? The fundamental physical quantities are not derived or explained in terms of other physical quantities like for example time. You cannot uh, derive or define time in using other physical quantities but you can easily uh, derive speed with the help of time and distance. Time and distance are two fundamental quantities. Speed is the derived quantity from time and distance. So these are the two physical quantities move to section 1.1 which is unit of length we all know unit of length is meter so what kind of a question you can get from this uh, unit of length you can get a question like there is a quantity which is given kilometer per hour and the answer is required in meter per second so there you have to know the conversion factor between 1 kilometer and meter conversion 1 km is equal to 10 to the power 3 meter 1 cm is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 meter 1 mm millimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter these are the relevant uh, conversions then there is one uh, micrometer micrometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter strum. this is used directly in the examination what one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter then there are uh, others like uh, femtometer one femtometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter so you are required to know these things they think that at least you know these conversions so that you can easily interchange between the kilometer per hour to meter per second and solve the equation. Now there are astronomical distances like uh, one light here is equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meter. Light here is the distance of the length and one light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meter. Similarly, one AU, uh, one astronomical unit is 1.495 into 10 to the power 11 meter. Over one parsec is equal to 3.084 into 10 to the power 16 meter. Let us move to unit of mass. The unit of mass is kilogram now here uh, nothing to discuss just some conversions like 1 ton is equal to 10 to the power 3 kg 1 gram 
is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 kg 1 milligram is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 kg unit of time the SI unit of standard unit of time is second you must be thinking why we are studying these basic things we know we all know these things but these are the basic things which are uh, used to make complex things in science if your concept here is clear you will be able to grasp and solve questions very easily so there is nothing to discuss in uh, unit of time it is uh, second FPS system this is the British system as British ruled us for 200 years we are required to uh, know the conversion because uh, many of our old uh, teachers uh, do tend to get attracted towards foot and pound and they uh, put questions in foot and pound many times the questions are picked from uh, foreign books and there uh, the unit is foot and pound and you have to convert it to get the answer in meter per second or uh, kilogram per second or kilogram so one foot is equal to 0 0.3048 meter one pound is equal to 0 0.4536 kg approximately it is half kg 50 gram less so you can uh, have a approximate value in your mind 